Boxing Hall of Famer and the longtime trainer for Manny Pacquiao. On Saturday night, the 40-year-old Pacquiao impressed a lot of people with a split decision win over Thurman. Freddie Roach, welcome. Welcome. To Undisputed. Mm -hmm. So good to have you. Uh, were you surprised by Manny's performance this weekend? Uh, no, I kind of expected his performance. He, he, we had a really good training camp, you know, and his work ethic is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, a 40-year-old guy still working as hard as he did when he was like 22. <laughs> I mean, we've been together for 18 years, and uh, he going into the fight, I was very, really positive. Uh, the first round knockdown surprised me, yes, mm. but um, you know, it was like I said, the old man, he's back. <laughs> yeah, you know? and I I saw that a little bit in the training camp actually, and uh, he he was hungry for a knockout there, and then uh, it, it everything turned out pretty well for us. Mm. But Freddie, it, it was stunning to see Manny. It looked like he had turned back the clock maybe five years. It looked like he was quicker, sharper, more explosive than I've seen him since pre-Floyd Mayweather fight. Uh, I do agree with you. And, uh, you know, uh, he gave up his killer instinct a lot. But, but you know, um, he didn't want to hurt his opponents. And all he has to do is beat them. And after losing a couple of bad decisions... Yeah. That kind of went away a little, finally. So did you see a little more killer yeah, instinct? Uh, definitely, yeah. yeah. In this training camp, it was. His, in, even in his last fight, it was a little more. He's shown a little bit more each fight. And then if, in this training camp, it, we definitely saw that killer instinct. And then in the first round, it was just, I was so happy. I said, the, the old man, he's back. <laughs> and, and the right hand, he had some new pop, man, because yeah. he was landing, he landed 82 jabs to Keith Thurman's 18. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he fought, a, he boxed a really good, good fight. And then uh, the body shot was really, yeah. maybe one of my best moments because we worked on that so much in, in, in training camp because we know that he's been hurt to the body before mm -hmm. and um he he kind of ran for about two minutes there and i I, I said i hope the judge scored that a two a two two point round at least because you know, mm -hmm. i think it was worth it and uh uh pacquiao um he, then he get he, in the middle rounds. He he did fatigue a little bit, but mm -hmm. then it, the second win came through in the last couple hey, rounds. Hey, the twelfth round, he and, was and he pulled it out. Attack mode, man. Yes. Yeah. Are you surprised you got a split decision and not a unanimous decision? A little bit. <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I thought Manny dominated the fight, and uh, I didn't think a split decision was the right call. And uh, but you know, judges in Las Vegas went in there. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get to what everybody cares about the most and what Manny has been on a mission to accomplish, and that is a rematch with Floyd Mayweather Jr. Can you see it happening fairly quickly? I'm not sure because, um, you know, Floyd walked out of the arena before uh, the the announcement of... On Saturday night, yeah. yeah. Oh. And, and I, I, I guess he didn't want to get called out uh -huh. <laughs> by Manny. Uh -huh. And... Uh, he is uh, 42 now, and he's he's old, older than Manny, and, and Manny's performance was unbelievable. And uh, I think that's why he kind of snuck out of there a little bit early. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, this is why we're, we're, we're really in the game right now, because we want that rematch. Yeah. Um, I want that rematch, you know, because uh, Manny had an injury last time, but, uh, you know, after the fourth round, he said, Freddie, I can't throw my, I can't throw it anymore. And I said, just do the best you can. And uh, I know we can do so much better in the rematch. And, and I know we can win that fight. And it's like what me and Manny both want badly. And uh, we, so, we, we so would quickly, love to get that. Go, go back to the first fight. It was about three weeks before the bout. And you were in a sparring session. Manny tore his rotator cuff. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. And and you ask for an injection, which you didn't file the correct paperwork for on the night of the fight. Is that yeah, that was a little dodgy. A yeah, little a little bit. dodgy. Because yeah. uh, okay. you know we fill out the same paperwork that Mayweather did. Uh -huh. and Mayweather was allowed to shoot his hands up because he has bad hands. Uh huh. And we just with a painkiller, and we were allowed to use a painkiller also. Uh, and uh, by the time we get ready to have the shot. The commission came in and says, if you do that, you're disqualified. Okay. And there's, uh, I think Floyd got to somebody because he, he's a powerful, 
person in he, boxing. Especially in Las Vegas. Especially, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. You mentioned the age. Florida will be... Let's, I don't think they'll fight. If the fight were to happen, I don't think it'll happen in 2019. It'll be 2020. Florida will be 20, 43 in, in the February. Mm -hmm. As we start to age, the reflexes start to go. But Floyd will not have fought in two and a half years, hadn't had a meaningful boxing match since he fought Berto in 2015. How much will his skills have diminished if this fight were to happen, say, early next year? Uh, quite a bit, actually. I, I think, uh, especially at his age, and uh, he would slow down a little bit. I think that he may need a tuna fight of, of, uh, before that fight happens. But you know, sometimes tuna fights don't always <laughs> exactly uh, always go the way you want. As, as Anthony Joshua, about a tuna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, true. So, so uh, you know, the thing is, um, you know, I think Manny's performance is. Going to scare him away a little bit. And um, come on, Floyd, one more time. But the money won't scare Floyd away because Manny's <laughs> performance is going to to dynamite that purse sky high, right? Definitely. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and both guys who spend the money, um, <laughs> Floyd seems like he spends his, Manny gives his away. That is correct. And uh, he's the most generous person I've ever met in my life. Wow. He's just, he, he, he just wants to help the people. Yeah. So both guys need the money, and the money would be there, especially after Saturday night's performance. I definitely. I, okay, I so would would Manny need another fight, or, or would you rather this? Would you rather Floyd be next? Uh, no, Floyd be next. Yeah, uh, Manny's he's he's always in condition, always doing something. I mean, the best part about it is that when he's when he's home right now. He's not boxing. He's doing the Senate work and so forth. He's there's no wear and tear on him, and uh, he's playing basketball every day. His favorite sport, and uh, he he has an indoor court at his house, and it's quite. It's uh, he hires people to come in and play against him, huh. his team, and uh, he has he has he has a lot of fun with the, with the basketball. But you you look at the way Keith Thurman fought Manny, you know Floyd is not going to fight him like that. <laughs> No, Floyd will not fight him like you that. You know he's a pot shot artist. He's going to yeah. make you, okay, I'm over here, pop, pop. I'm yeah. over there, pop, pop. Yeah, he's a sharpshooter. He's, yeah. he's, I mean, he's a very good boxer, and uh, I think uh, Manny just needs to put a lot more pressure on him. And I've had trouble getting Manny to put pressure on his opponents lately because, you know, he, again, he said he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. He just has to outscore them. And, but I think that's changed now, and I think the killer instinct will be back, and... I think he will attack Floyd very aggressively this time. Mm. You, you said before the, the Mayweather fight, in fact, I think you told me this for a piece I wrote for ESPN, that, that Manny's Christianity, he had been become a born-again Christian somewhere in that range mm -hmm. just before that, and you worried that that had taken away too much of his attack mode and killer instinct to put somebody away because the name of the game of boxing is to knock your opponent out. Yes. Yeah, I right. mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a firm believer that every fight should end in a knockout and it, <laughs> because it takes the judges away, it takes that split decision away. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I, I love knockouts. And at one time, Manny was like the knockout king. Oh, I mean, he was knocking king. everybody out. And then when, the, you know, that change, um, it, it, it was really a good change for him in a lot of ways, family and so forth. He's a better father better husband, and he's just a, a very good person. And But it killed me a little bit because of his killer instinct yeah. went away a little bit. So but, how did you talk him back into being a little more of a killer? You know, it's really, really difficult to fight the Bible. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably about 60%. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he, did, he did really well. Uh, his his attack mode was really, really aggressive, and I, I really I like when many actually dislikes his opponents. Hmm. And this guy did me a favor by talking <laughs> and, by talking and getting Manny right. a little angry. Because Manny, when he's, he's not, he's, he won't fight. Uh, he'll use his head to still, he'll set things up and everything. Right. But he'll be a lot more aggressive though, right. like he was. So do you believe at 40, he can still sit down on his punches and get people up out of there? Yeah, I believe so. And that, you know, immediately after the fight, I was a little bit worried about him. 
because he had a little blurry, blurred vision mm -hmm. and so forth. And I had something to do with the Vaseline in his eye. Mm -hmm. And then the next day when I saw him and I was talking to him, he's completely coherent. He was having fun and he, the old man, he was just still there. He definitely has at least one more fight in him mm -hmm. for sure. And, and he took some shots. I mean, Thurman got him a couple times. Yeah, he, a couple of good right hands. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he buckled him. He actually hurt Manny at least once or twice in that fight. Mm -hmm. And you know, and that's part of the fight game. And uh, you know, Thurman um, uh, showed, showed a lot of heart. You know, he, I mean, yeah. he came back, he came back. The, the middle rounds, he was starting to shift his way and mm -hmm. I had to really get on Manny about, let's, let's take, take this lead back, let's be more aggressive and, and go after this guy. So mm -hmm. it worked, the last couple rounds he pulled the fight out. And, but you do know in order for Manny to get aggressive, he subjects himself to take some shots. Oh, for sure, <laughs> yeah, Manny, Manny's defense is his offense. Right. I mean, and that's, uh, that, that, you know, that's kind of the way we 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 go into fights, right? Because we we know that Manny's going to take some shots, right? And uh, and he took a, a couple of big right hands in that shot, and uh, but uh, he buckled a little bit, but he came back really well. And in between rounds, he was very co coherent and understood everything with, uh, that was going on. Yeah, he looked good. I mean, this was the best Manny I've seen, especially the in and out, because that's how he fights. He's in and out. And he got caught, he got caught, that's why Marquez got him, he got caught coming right. in. But his style of in and out and side to side, he was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean. He looked it, good. I was telling him, we're, we're walking into the arena and I'm showing him, I said, okay, now the in and out, we we have to have that. Right. I said, you know, feign him make, and get out, make it, make him throw and counter, right. counter his lead. And it worked very well for us. It was really nice to see that back. Right. It, was, it was great. Mm. Right. I didn't see that coming. I won't be honest with you, Fred. I didn't see. I didn't think he had that in him anymore. <laughs> All of us were enjoying it, Freddie. We're going to take a quick break, but we want to keep you around because we have yeah. so much more to get to. So mm -hmm. we'll be right back.